right, then you're gonna get your opinion and make sure you have a brand new crush sleeve on it. Go ahead and stick it in there. And I'm actually pretty tired right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the bearing to the other side and just like do it on there real quick. And a lot of people will probably talk a lot of shit about me going and putting a brand new seal on now. You're really not supposed to do that because uh, putting the yoke on and and doing all the uh, the preload that you're about to I'm about to do on this it can tear up the brand new seal. But I'm really not too worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on anyway. And there's the yolk, and what I like to do with the yolks, I like to put a little bit of silicone right inside of it, on the, right there where it mashes up, where it meets up with the, the pinion, because sometimes oil likes to leak through there, through those splines. So I end up grabbing a rag, and I'm kind of wedging it in there with the pinion, trying to get the pinion to, to not turn while I tighten down the, the whole nut. I'm using the whole nut right now, and I'm trying to take the slack out of the yoke and out of the pinion, but I'm not trying to get it real tight. I'm not trying to crush the sleeve yet. Once you get it kind of kind of tight, you gotta seat the bearings. Hit it a couple more times. All right, so it's uh, time to crush the crush sleeve. And uh, the way you measure it is you're gonna need a beam style torque wrench that, uh, that will measure it in, um, in inch pounds, not foot pounds, but inch pounds. And you're looking for a um, specified uh, rotating torque number. Crush leaf can only be crushed one time, so when you're tightening it, you gotta make sure you don't over tighten it because you can't go back. Gotta torque this bastard to 210. Which is a fuckload. Ah! You can come over here and check the rotations. Rotational torque. 
10 to 30 inch pounds. I'm sure it's about 15 all right heavy 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 